still the beginning of the year, 2020, a good number by the way, but many people have set goals and they've given themselves objectives and dreams that they want to achieve. Yet we know statistics tell us that most people won't achieve anything. Most people, the vast majority of people will quit 10% of the journey in that journey. Why? There are many reasons. One, a very powerful one, is that we struggle as humans to establish new habits that are favorable to us, to our goals. And why is either removing or installing a new habit so hard? Well, it comes down to four things. You know, I, I've been doing personal development for more than 20 years, and there are so many advanced techniques and strategies you can look at, but ultimately it comes down to, to four very simple steps. Not easy, but very simple steps. The first one is the trigger. You know, if the habit that we want to install is to get up early in the morning, what is the trigger? An alarm isn't enough because we might have 30 years experience of snoozing the alarm. So maybe the trigger needs to be the alarm, but then we need to have uh, something that really works as a trigger for us to get out of bed. What I do is to count from five to zero and I have to get out of bed before it gets to zero. It's like a personal challenge and I get pissed off at myself because the alarm goes off and I think of oh, five, oh, and I have to get up, but it works consistently. The second one is the ritual. What is the behavior that we actually want to do? What is the, the ritual, the, the trigger for? What is the ritual? And in my case, is working out. As soon as I get up in the morning, I count from five to zero, and then I have five minutes to get out, get ready, and start working out. Uh, it could be many other things, but we need to have a specific behavior that we want to install. And the third one I find is the reward, and this is where most people fail, and I used to fail for a long time. We do the, the we listen to the trigger, we get out of bed, we do the behavior, but then we don't reward ourselves. It could be a small reward, a nap mid-afternoon if you can, or a, a latte, or a piece of chocolate, or whatever it is that, that works for you. But I think it's important to give ourselves that reward, even we, when we don't think we need it, because our mind will then associate that reward with getting up in the morning or whatever the behavior is. And the last one is repetition. People uh, say that it takes 28 days to install an habit. I don't understand where that came from. The only information, which again, I, I rely on only uh, so much, is the University College of London that proved that it takes 66 days to install a habit. And uh, what I do, I look at three months. Whenever I have a new behavior, I try to really integrate it and implement it during three months and sometimes even a year because only then it becomes really natural. Sounds hard? Yes, I know it's hard. It's very hard. But good stuff are normally hard and, and they pay off. The dividends are great. So this is the four elements. These are the four elements that will allow you and anybody else to successfully install a good habit. So good luck and I hope you have fun with it.